let me start with a story. When I was about 10 years old, I got a Blue Angel banana seat bicycle for my birthday. And one day I was riding it as fast as I could down the concession and I ran over a garter snake that was sunning itself. And I killed it. And that was a big moment for me because I realized I could kill something by not noticing it. So when I think about what it means to notice something and I think about, you know, losing a candy wrapper or dropping, you know, our garbage, all the different things that we do that we're actually not noticing what we've done and what does it mean if we start paying attention to that, if we start noticing and doing something about it. It's, in it's interesting how much you learn by just paying attention. Like, I picked up a piece of plastic and I knew that it came from that building. I've started making art only out of things that already exist. So used paint, other materials, found objects, plastic bags, and I want these things to exist in a new way so that my art is a kind of alchemy. The challenge of just working with what I have like right now I have about 15 pans, cans of paint and so that's just 15 colors to mix and work with. I opened up a bucket of paint which must have been sitting in somebody's garage for a very long time. Well I can't paint with it anymore so what I've done is I've mixed it with glue and uh, I'm painting with glue and these paint chips in it. I also have really fond memories of going to the dump when I was a little girl with my dad. So we'd, we'd drive to the dump and look in the ditches for quarter dairy boxes that may have flown off a truck and, and when we'd get there we'd bring all of our garbage and also come home with all the treasures that my dad found. So I also think of the dump as, um, as a place full of treasure. One of the things that strikes me is how beautiful I actually find all this garbage. I feel attracted and repulsed by it. I feel responsible when I look at it. It's highly problematic, but I'm also compelled by how beautiful a bag is when it's swinging in a tree and I want to remove it, but the light passing through it, the way a tree seems to grab it out of the sky, I'm curious about really investigating that beauty and what that is and finding a place where it can exist without causing harm. So what is it that we do as artists? And I think a, a short answer to that is we pay close attention to our world and we do something with what we see and hopefully that raises consciousness. So what are these paintings? I guess they're explorations, they're excavations, they're curiosities, they're examples of who we are, and they're me paying attention and helping other people pay attention too. I think if we think about where something comes from and where it goes and we do something with what we learn about that, we might become kinder, more conscientious animals.